All right, guys, welcome back to Control. So you see this TV right here? Well, it's a little Easter egg, and I had heard about it, um, but I didn't ever think I'd be able to do it. You know, I was like, oh, I'll never find all these TVs and stuff. But uh, I actually went and found three by myself. Um, crap, how do I? There we go. Um, but yeah, I found three by myself. And it was as I was trying to. Holy shit. Did you just ruin one of the TVs? Oh no, it's right there. Um, let me just pick it up and go. I was while I'm trying to do the board countermeasures. I think I've done half, and that's it. But they're not taking too long. I just fast travel to the place that I need to do them at. Um, and there's six of these TVs. I found three of them on my own. And I was thinking I'll never be able to find them all. Um. <laughs> But you throw them all in the furnace and you get eternal fire. And I thought it was really cool. It's only for grip, I heard. Let's see. Uh, let's see. We'll go damage against enemy armor. Yeah. Eternal fire, ammo refund chance on hit plus one hundred percent. So that means if we hit somebody with the weapon, all our ammo is back. So I just thought that was really cool. I also found where I found one of them was a hidden spot. Um and hold on, I got what is this one? Seed speed plus ninety two percent. Wow. Too bad I didn't find that earlier, but uh where I found that one. NSC power plant right in the middle. Whoops. And you just I'll show you actually. You go all the way you go to the highest point basically here that you can go to. Um and it's there. I won't go all the way up there, but I'll just go to the place. You know, it's just you got an ability point and there's like one hidden location, or just hidden location found. But you went all the way up there. Right up there. And it was that. I was just going up there, because I was over here trying to make these guys spawn. I was just running around, going to places, so. Anyway, I'll be back um, once I have done all of the board countermeasures that I can. Oh, wait. Uh, his trooper. I haven't found any of those, so. Anyway, I just thought I would uh, share that with you guys. Alright guys, so, I'm doing the isolation mission, and to start it, I actually had to look up how to do it, because it doesn't tell you, it doesn't even tell you you have a mission. Um, the first thing you have to do is go to the ritual division in the ritual office. You take the elevator up, and you grab a tape. The forest of positive interactions. So, I play this and get in the tank. Okay. Self-reflection can bring answers. I read that somewhere. Well, that's good to know. Um, and so we go and play the first guided imagery experience tape in the extrasensory lab. Let's see. It's over there. That might actually be... Oh, no, we've been there because it has uh, the name on it. Let's see. And then the HRA lab has the second one. It's not HRA, is it? No, okay. so weird that, uh, because you get it with the, 
DLC, or you get it with the season pass. That's a bad thing. It's just so weird that um, it wouldn't sh it wouldn't pop up or something as something you can do. HRA lab. Man, how the hell do you get there? I think it might be that's a radio. It might be in this elevator that's over here. God damn, can't find the elevator now. I still say this is one of the worst maps I've seen in a game. For how good the game is, they uh, they didn't do well on the map. Yeah. We'll say they needed one though, because it was extremely difficult to navigate without it. Because they have signs everywhere, but the signs aren't frequent enough. No? Well, it looks like it's over here. Yeah, okay. You and Hedron were never one and the same. Enough HRAs? She... So long as the hiss are out there, we'll be making It more. helped Darling with the HRAs to slow the hiss down. And it helped me learn to tap into this power I had inside. You. Here's the second one. Embracing the erratic, an audio journey. This must be one of those sensory tank tapes. In the extra sensory lab. MIT. How about you? Let's also see. MIT. Way over there. Let's go ahead through here to the fast travel point. So one sad thing is, honestly... Um... Unless this... Um, doing the side mission... Gives a lot of ability points. I don't think I will be able to get the platinum without it being a super grind. Just because, as you can see there, um, I did this one. But some of these are very, very, very specific. Um, I, I have to. I end up having to abandon at least one of every two, or every three. I mean, so I only end up doing two of them. Um, So, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to take a while if I end up doing it. But don't be surprised if I don't. Alright, this should take us there. But yeah, I looked up how to start it, and that was it. So I wouldn't spoil anything for myself. Because I was like, alright, it says I have... You know, once you get the... So once you get the, um... Expansion pass, you have it right away. 
Have I gotten this? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, it was like, you have it immediately. And I was like, oh, really? How do I get it? And it never popped up or anything like that, so I was like, uh, I better look up how to do it. Extrasensory lab downstairs. Let's see, hypnosis lab. Oh, I'm not going the right way. For some reason I remember going into some of these places. <laughs> Sensor research psychology. Uh. Wow, that's the wrong way. Oh, I thought it was the uh, saying I could touch the brain. I was like, what? Hey, another one of these things. That's it. Seems to be. Coming in here. Dr. Takao tapes. Good news. The Dr. Takao tapes arrived this week finally. You really should have used some use same day shipping. I spent I sent them out to Dr. Darling and Dr. Harrington to check out before we begin. Serious examination. If you need them right away, I'd check Darling's room in the ritual office. Can't wait to start seeing Dr. Yoshimi Takao's famous guided imagery experience. This should be it. Oh, whoops. Interesting. Oh. Welcome to my guided imagery experience. Lesson 1. Morito no Tamre. Exercise 1. The forest of positive interaction. And the, the Japanese voice. Tokui Yoshimi Hakase. My name is Dr. Yoshimi Tokui. It's Trust Hideo my Kojima. words. I'm here for you. Close your eyes, open your mind, and find yourself on an empty beach. Sazarami the waves are rolling in, and the seagulls are fighting over a discarded bag of potato chips. I believe they're jalapeno flavored. I see something in the middle of the ocean. They appear to be trees. Perhaps they are ocean trees. Or perhaps they are metaphors for how you push people away. Let's find out together. Just walk over the waves, friend. 
話しかけてみませんか The trees look lonely. Why don't you talk to them? 俺に支えかけましょう。あなたは愛されるに値すると、誰もが愛されるに値すると、森もうなずいています。You whisper to the trees. You tell them that they deserve love, that everyone deserves love. The trees agree. They will now go on to form healthy, respectful relationships with other trees or shrubs, whatever they prefer. Now let's leave these trees to their love. Voyeurism. Is impolite. I sense a disturbance in our love garden, a menace. Go find it. Do not let it darken our forest of emotions. A forklift. It does not like the tree's romance. It is ruining our lovely beach with its hateful tires. It ran over one of the gulls. Such bloodshed. Turn off the machine. That gull had a family. The potato chips were for his pregnant wife. The forklift must be stopped. This is so weird. <laughs> You did it. The murderous machine will kill no more. The trees can love undisturbed. Our beach is no place for forklifts or lonely trees. Your mind is a safe haven for love. Doesn't that feel nice? Aren't you feeling healthier? Oh, my. It seems we're all out of time. Stay receptive, friend. Alright. Whatever the hell that was. Actually was relaxing and strangely insightful. But uh, yeah, the Japanese voice Hideo Kojima, so it's a little embracing the erratic journey. What is this for? Welcome to my guided imagery experience. Lesson two. This. Exercise two. Embracing the erratic. Watashua Tokuy Yushimi Hakase. Watashu Shinjite Makase Tekudas. My name is Dr. Yoshimi Tokui. Trust my words. I'm here for you. Meo Tojite Kokoro Hirai Tekudasai. Sozo Stem Tekudasai. Anatawa Kansan Tosita. Now, close your eyes, open your mind, and find yourself on a deserted beach. The waves are crashing against the rocks, and the gulls are circling overhead, drawing ever closer. Are you scared of birds? If so, Please try not to be. Look, a vending machine. You must be thirsty. Let us go quench your thirst. 
They have your favorite soda. You know the one. Press the button. The machine has run off with your favorite soda. Chase it. Fight for it. This is your favorite soda in the whole world. The soda you kill a man for. Hurry, run! Soda! <laughs> the soda tumbles out. Victory! But wait, it's not the right kind. I guess you'll have to try something new. Go on. You might like it. How delicious. This is your new favorite soda. When you try new things, you sometimes discover the best of life has to offer. That's a soda lesson for you. Ah, another personal realization awaits. Hurry over, run. Exercise is good for you. I don't think I kill a man for a soda. I mean, I do like soda. But man. It's a dead person. This would normally be quite an upsetting thing to find, yes? Do not worry. You are safe. Why don't you try touching the dead person? It could be interesting. Oh, merciful gods, dozens of more corpses appeared. Where did they come from? Oh, the stench, the horror. This beach will never be the same. Why did you touch the dead person? You made a grave mistake. Fix your mistake by hiding it. Bury these bodies. Clean your mind of the rot. That was scary, wasn't it? And yet, you learned another lesson. You're scared of some things for a reason. Listen to your instincts. Accept that the world is random and cold. Fear is useful. Lots of good lessons today. Some things are good. Some are bad. Don't you feel more prepared for uncaring cruelty of life? I know I do. This concludes my guided imagery therapy. You are now approved by Dr. Yoshimi Tokui to explore this rotating rock we call Earth. Good luck, Star Wanderer. Stay actualized. And see you next time. Alright, that was very interesting. Jesse fucking Faden. <laughs> You're the best, Dr. Yoshimi. I'm <laughs> Jesse fucking Faden. Alright, I guess uh, 
That was odd. I'm kind of bummed I didn't get any uh, points or anything for it. Just because that's gonna be the. Uh... God damn, I guess I broke that. That's gonna be the hardest thing to get, but that was very. Very interesting indeed. Oh, uh, yeah, let's show some more, you guys. Um. You do not have any missions. Yes, I know. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're in, technically in the research division. We gotta kill, like, his rangers or whatever. That is. But, uh, one thing I was doing, I was in the spot where I needed to be. Um, it was kill 10 with melee. And I was killing them with melee. But it wasn't uh, accepting it, so I had to just abandon it. Uh, just wasn't working. That is where I will end this one. Unless I end up somehow actually getting the 25 board countermeasures trophy, I'll make sure to show that, but I honestly don't think I will anytime soon. Um, I'll go ahead and abandon that one. Keep that. Anything else in the research section? No, so what I'll probably do. And what's funny is Central Research, where the hiss continuously just respawn, I was get, kind of getting pissed um, earlier in the game, never spawned. I was walk, running around for five minutes trying to get them spawned, never spawned. But that's where I'm going to end this one. Like I said, unless uh, I end up getting the trophy, I'll just show that and then it'll end. But... Alright guys, so, no, didn't get any trophy, but Archives was previously a question mark, and so, now we're here. That was weird. I figured, you know, we'd explore it. Um, it's not too big. I figured it might have some lore notes, maybe some other stuff in it, so. Oh, here's one. Book Club Philip. Book Club Thoughts by Philip P. Unless you hooked me right away. It began with visceral dismemberment scenes and this great unsettling vibe created by the unexplained creature they named The Fix. As an avid horror fan, I loved how this story veered from the genre conventions into something a little more, for lack of a better word, weird. Everything felt familiar, just but just a little off. The characters even comment on it, saying how their lives felt out of control as if they were just programmed to perform the same empty actions over and over very meta and I love the way they left the ending wide open what happened to the guy ordered to watch those mo monitors for the rest of his life did it did the fix get him is he dead 
Did he end up in the parallel reality with the others? We don't know, and that's okay. All in all, an interesting read. I'll give it a solid 4 to 5. Points deducted for some of the clunky dialogue and unbelievable choices the characters made. I mean, who the hell would follow orders from their boss in the middle of such a horrible slaughter fest? But I guess I shouldn't demand too much realism from a work of fiction. It's talking about this goddamn game. What? Oh, I have one of these things in here. I wish you could kill that. I'm just trying to find stuff to read, Sir Seer. Shelter. Let's see what's down here. Not much, just a couple boxes. And you, son of a bitch. Okay, well that is whatever this place is. Let's continue to look into here we already saw over here. And that goddamn thing you can't kill. Didn't think it could. Man, so far not too much in archives. I wonder why I this was locked off for so long. Panopticon Methods Proposal. Process and Best Practices Panopticon Containment Procedures Proposal. Summary. In this proposal, I'd like to explore the matter of containment policy. When an altered item enters the oldest house, we thoroughly investigate any possible combination of actions or words or material that will prevent the item from applying its altered effect. However, I work with these entities every day and I have good reason to believe that a less convoluted form of containment is possible. The items crave if we initiated a series of 
appraising the items or perhaps incorporating their images into pieces of that could be visited throughout the bureau. I believe the altered items would behave without needing the, to resort to or which only lead to the items feeling mistreated. If we treat these like criminal, them like criminals, we can't be surprised when they try to escape. That's all in here. And there's one level... Yeah, one more level below me I haven't seen yet. Oh, shit. Can't this thing be killed? Oh, yes. Bureau rule number 74. Uh, huh? Always be suspicious of things that weren't there before. Looks safe to me. Dockers and spies! Wait! It's not even plugged in! You gotta love the threshold kids. Oh, there's a hotline that I miss. The future. Okay, so that was something I should have looked at um, right after beating the main game. And it says we'll speak again in the future. Expansion. The expansion packs. He's right out there. Destroying the archives. <sighs> All right. Last floor of the archives, and then we'll go ahead and end it. Oh, but 
Oh no, he got not too much in the archive. Ooh, level six. Well, maybe there'll be more now. Uh, I was gonna say, why the hell is this locked off? The exact process... The exact process of how an altered item is born eludes us. We find them in the aftermath of altered world events. They take the form of everyday objects, ever-present in our lives, constantly evoked in the thoughts of millions of people, now infused with unpredictable energies. They're altered. The superstitious would call them cursed. Now, are altered items sentient? Not quite. They're often fixated, programmed almost to cause certain events to happen over and over again. While generally less potent than objects of power, they are not able to be controlled. Left unchecked, they, they can be highly dangerous. To study altered items, we contain them in Panopticon. This of how an altered item is born eludes us. I do love how much we still find even after pretty much exploring the entire building you still find a lot of stuff because some stuff was locked off or you just didn't think to go there now archives was locked off god damn it um, why though I'm not really sure I have a box. <laughs> I'm running in a box forever now. Open up. Okay, but. Think that's gonna do it for me. Uh, where the hell? There it is. <sighs> All right. So, yeah, I think that's gonna go ahead and do it for me. Um, we've pretty much explored. There's no more hidden locations except for maybe a few that I missed that I don't know about that were, you know. Um, too high of a level for me to go into, like level 6 or 5, 4, and I just missed them and didn't go back because I forgot about them. Um, but that's all the question marks on the map explored. That's every side mission that I know about done. Uh, at least one or two Easter eggs found. Um, the DLC isolation mission, which was the Hideo Kojima one, done. Um... All achievements except for 25 board countermeasures and 100% of abilities unlocked. Unfortunately, um, hopefully when the expansion passes come out, which one is due early 2020 and another mid-2020, I can get the abilities one. But as far as board countermeasures, um, I don't know, because like, like I said, some... You know, like his rangers, his snipers, his distorted, his charged. Um, you have to get kind of really lucky to get these ones, and just to get five of the charged. Oh, those are the kamikaze ones. See if I would have had, if I would have known, I'd have this, just, and I would have got it. But um, you just have to get really lucky to get them. 
and sometimes, like I said, I would go to um, research, uh, central research, where all the stuff spawned all the time. And I've, I've fast traveled there twice just in this one, trying to get it, and nothing spawned, not once. I even walked around, went to Ritual Division, went to Central, I mean, not Central, went to um, Parapsychology, Hypnosis Lab, Astral Ex nothing spawned, so. But uh, that'll be it for this series until the expansion pass. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.